Hello everyone, this is part one of the series and it's going to be learning assembly. Assembly is a programming language that electrical and computer engineers usually have to take in their course study. You know when you write programs in a higher programming language like C++ or Python or Java, and then you hit the compile button, what happens is the compiler changes that code into assembly. And then the assembler deassembles that code into machine code ones and zeros. And then the computer performs a task that you coded the program to do. And assembly is a very complicated language, but it's understandable to humans. Not like machine code where you just see a bunch of ones and zeros and you have to translate that into hexadecimals and then into commands. So if we have to rank them, machine code will be the lower, the lower programming language, if it's a language at all. And then C++, Java, Python is going to be a higher one, but there's a huge gap between them. And that's where assembly come in place. So to write assembly, just like any other language, you need some kind of compiler or software. And that's what we're going to be doing here. So this part, part one, is just going to be showing you guys how to download the software needed to write uh, assembly code. So you go to this link right here. I'm going to make sure to link it in the description below. And you want to look for the Code Warrior Development Studio for HCS 12X. Now, I haven't mentioned to you guys, I forgot that there are a lot of assembly languages out there. It depends on which microcontroller or which software you're dealing with. In my university, I had to take the microprocessor class. And in that class, we dealt with the HCS12 microcontroller. And there's a specific assembly language for that, which I think it's called HC12. And NXP basically designed the software code warrior. And as you can see here, that's what we're using to write code in assembly to allow the microcontroller to perform specific tasks that we tell it to do. So you wanna go ahead and, and look at the 5.2 version and select the special version or the special edition. And then you hit download. I already have it downloaded. And you're gonna have a file that looks exactly like that. So you wanna go ahead and run it. Click yes, then next accept the terms, and then you want to make sure you don't want to change the destination folder. Just keep it as it is. It's most likely going to be in your C hard drive, program files, x86, freescale, and then this name here, right, right here. So you hit next, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. And you should have then Code Warrior installed. Now you need to download some missing derivatives. I don't know if the software will work without them or not, but just for, um, for it to run smoothly without any issue, just make sure you download the missing derivatives. I'm also going to link this link in the description. You want to go scroll down all the way to the bottom after this table right here, and then click that, uh, click download to this zip file. So you're going to have this zip file right here. So in the zip file, you're going to have these three programs. Now you want to make sure in the place in the, in the repository where you downloaded your code warrior software, you want to make sure you replace these three files that, that are in there with these ones. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. As you can see here, I'm in the repository where I downloaded code warrior. You can see BIN, LIB, and PROG. And these are the exact same names for the files in the zip file that we downloaded. So to make sure you grab them, you paste them here. And when it says, hey, I already have these files, do you want me to replace them or just skip? You wanna make sure that you hit replace the file and the destination. And from this point, your code warrior should run with absolutely no issues. So this concludes part one of this series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.